Everyone knows that driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol is forbidden. But what about serving as a juror under the influence? In Tanner v. the United States, the United States Supreme Court addressed the issue of whether juror testimony concerning jury members' use of alcohol and drugs during a federal criminal trial is admissible to challenge the jury's guilty verdict. Anthony Tanner and William Conover were businessmen who lied to a federal agency that had guaranteed a business loan for a project they were developing. A federal grand jury indicted them for conspiracy to defraud the United States. They pleaded not guilty at trial, but the jury convicted them as charged. After the guilty verdict, Tanner and Conover's defense lawyers learned from two jurors that some members of the jury had consumed drugs or alcohol during lunch breaks and at other times during trial proceedings. Both jurors claimed that some jurors consequently slept during the trial. The attorneys obtained affidavits from those two jurors and filed a motion with the district court for a new trial. They also requested permission to interview all jury members, as well as to hold an evidentiary hearing. The district court denied the motion based on Federal Rule of Evidence 606B, which prohibits the use of juror testimony to impeach a verdict. On appeal, the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit affirmed Tanner and Conover's convictions. Tanner and Conover successfully petitioned the United States Supreme Court to hear their case. 